use some more female heroes. I see that superhero game is still a thing. We're friends, right? Too late, we are now. You want a selfie with me? Okay. <laughs> Oh, is that really what I look like? Your precious global financial system is in flames! <laughs> oh! From the sky swoops justice! Okay, let's see what you got, new kid. That's going to leave some scars. were lame. Happy to change your mind, Super Craig. Who says I changed my mind? Ah. Ah. I hope the master saw that. Time to wreak havoc. Here I go. I am out of fucking tickets. Oh, if only you put as much effort into your costume as you did that move. Look, dude, you're lucky I even showed up. Oh, chaos will protect me, right? By the love of chaos! Ah, ah, ah. Sure. You okay, Super Craig? Sure, I'm fucking fabulous. Ready to pummel enemies at max speed. Feel the wrath of 
human kite. Now soar, soar. But wait, you can't even fly. You don't look so hot, new kid. Hope you start to eat some pennies, cause you're never getting in there. Ugh. Hey, I I'm just a minion. Who wants some chaos? My turn. Omega Crush Extra. Yeah, I saw that coming. We're like locusts, dude. Ah! I got a hero! On me, let's swarm these fuckers! <laughs> Super uncool! <laughs> Not sure if you know, but hell hath no fury like Wrath of Kite! Whoa! Put the fear of kites into me, shithead. I totally smell like ozone now. Get up, new kid. We beat them without you. Your mother picked out that outfit for you? Someone should have a word with her. You should channel your energy into a cause, kid. Maybe knit iPad covers for homeless people. Want to upgrade your service plan, hero? Who could blame you? Can I interest you in a new contract with up to five gigabytes of data per month? Come back anytime. Ooh, I'd love to do that after you purchase a phone plan. I'll put you on our mailing list. Come back anytime.
approaching an area with controlled substances. Step away from the door or you will be terminated. Remember the Wonder Twins? I remember I love the Space Monkey. Yeah, remember? Remember that? Remember when Wonder Woman had an invisible jet? Oh, I remember that. That's raisins, new kid. Mosquito must be inside. Get in there, but do not be tempted by their amazing wings and hot bitches. Hi, welcome to Raisins. Just one of you today? Well, come right over here, cutie. Over here, hon. So we'll be right with you. Isn't he just the cutest thing? He sure can eat a lot of wings. <laughs> yeah, so, so then I flew into the sky and I beat up all the bad guys. Wow, I didn't know mosquitoes could be so tough. Yeah, well, ever heard of the Zika virus? Another plate of wings, cutie? Sure, just put them on my tab. Big spender. Hey, beat it, kid. These are my women's. What superhero are you? Super, wait. Oh my god, the mission! My fellow superheroes! I've completely forgotten! Back away, temptresses! Mosquito knows what you were trying to do! Uh, what are you talking about, kid? The raisins girls are Mosquito's kryptonite! You gotta get me out of here! Uh, well, okay then, here's your bill! <laughs> I think not! You tried to charm me, I will not pay this bill! You have to leave a tip, asswipe! They aren't going to let us go without a fight, kid! Let's do this! <laughs> a big mistake messing with human friends. Order up, kitties! <laughs> Welcome to the team! You're gonna need a total makeover. We need to punch some sense back into Mosquito. Seriously, guys, the wings are really good. Uh, leave the love of my life alone, guys. Everyone try to keep up. Give a fuck. Go nuts, new kid. Mission accomplished. Here for an ass kicking? I'll put that order right in now. <laughs> now are you having a good time, huh? After we beat you guys up, do you want to buy a raisins calendar? <laughs> I'll just take that lying down, bud boy. I can't even think about zingy tingy wings right now. Suck on dance. Do this to a raisin girl! You deserved it, you evil temptress! I feel so tingly! Go, go find your old soulmates! I'll have you in.
odds are increasingly in our favor. I'm gonna whoop you like my mama did my daddy, sweetie. Tuning friends forever. Good news, everybody. It's my turn. Dude. I'm all revved up and ready. Ouch for you, dude. Did someone call for a fist in the face? my kryptonite and you must have saved me just in time i'm forever in your debt but hero what is your kryptonite dude you can't be a superhero without something that you're powerless against any particular phobas any emotional hang-ups i mean come on there's got to be something look it's okay i'm on your team but kid you can tell me all right all right let me see your character sheet Take your time, it's a profound decision, and one you live with for a lifetime. Taste like crab and look like people. Want to overthrow mankind, those guys. Great! Job done! Your kryptonite is officially noted! Mosquito no, Mosquito must be up! Call on me if you should need me, coon friend!
careful who you chat with, sweetie. Folks here will bend your ear about their medications and buffets. I just know them nurses are swiping my casino nickels. Rockford Files. Ooh, I mean me. Remember Lawrence Welk? Ah, oh, yeah, I remember. Moon River is my favorite. Here, pussy pussy. meetings today. Uh, you don't have any meetings today, ma'am. Excellent. Keep up the good work, Aid. Have you figured out who's trying to take down the mayor and put me out of a job? Maybe if the mayor follows you. Study hard, kid, and someday you too might become the mayor of a podunk mountain town. There's no way I'm following you if the mayor isn't. Isn't the air thin enough around here without folks farting it up?
What are you supposed to be? A rodeo clown? Go on through. Sorry, I don't selfie with just anyone. So then, so then the WAP says to the Polak, You can trust us, kid. We're the good guys. I don't beat up the nip in the black guy's hat. I don't take pics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Scram, kid. Yeah, yeah, run along, knucklehead. I don't take pics with greenhorns. Looks like we've got another little junior crime fighter, boys. Is that it, kid? Well, the police can always use the help of concerned citizens. I guess we can give our little junior detective a special kitty case to work on. All right, listen up. There's somebody new to town, shaking up the crime families. This is a real bad dude. A kingpin of crime who wants to control all the drugs in the city. We've tracked him to this location here. I need you to go in and neutralize him. You lead point, my boys will be there after. If you take out the drug kingpin, we'll give you this junior detective badge. Pretty neat, huh? Now get out there! Soft room. I'm a friendly detective. What's your name? No problem. Just let me know if you need to sit down and talk things out. Grab a chair, hotshot. Let's wrap. So exactly why are you wandering around the police station? Are you hoping to be a little vigilante superhero like Ben Affleck? <laughs> I understand how this attention must be scary for you. You know what else is scary? Choking on Jared's $5 footlong. <laughs> I wrote that myself. I actually do stand-up on the weekends. Here's my headshot. You know, with this crime wave, I'm looking for work. You take my headshot around town, and I'll let you see what's in my bottom drawer here in my desk. Want to see what's in my bottom drawer? Huh? Where's that smile? Go ahead, get my headshot out there, and I'll give you a treat. Well, hello, new child. I haven't seen you before. 
But you come at a crucial time. South Park is sliding into moral decline. Someone's stealing our cats. They're TPing houses. Okay, maybe it's not full on Armageddon yet, but we do need a hero. Not to make the hard sell, but do you see yourself as a good person? Well, I can understand the confusion, but there comes a time when we need to choose our path. Will you find Jesus and take the righteous path? Or maybe you'll walk the middle way. Let's not talk about the third alternative. I'm hoping you're part of the solution, not the problem. Take the first step, my child, by entering this meditative chamber, which will allow you to confront your deepest fears. Face your fears, new child. Face your fears. Your dad fucked your mom. You afraid of the dark? Snakes? The color blue? Oh, hey, I'm in your imagination. Just a friendly Catholic priest who would like to get to know you a little better. Hmm? Yeah, that's right. I'm totally in your imagination, too. About to give you a shoulder rub. Ever imagine you'd feel something like this? Let me adjust the lighting in here a bit so we can get some visuals with that. Oh, I guess this one likes it rough. No complaints here. Oh, who wants to hold hands and sing Kumbaya with me? Where'd that kid disappear to? Oof. We were hoping you'd welcome this chance to atone. Open yourself to God's love. Oh yeah, he is risen all right. Oh my. All of God's children are deserving of his love, so just hold still. Hard to get. God damn it! I can't put a child in a dark room for two minutes without you bastards showing up. Well, you're definitely going to hell now. Get out of here! That's not what the Queen Spider says. I'll go say 10 mil Harry's. Well, gosh, I feel just awful about all that. Tell you what, a rabbi friend gave me this macaroni picture. In times of trouble and tribulation, use it to call upon the prophet Moses. Good luck on your spiritual journey, my child. Neil. 
before. Jesus. Remember when Morgan Freeman was God? Oh, yeah, I remember. Remember when Christians cared about the sick and the poor? Sure, I remember. <laughs> I would be proud to have a photo of us together, after all we've been through. <laughs> Bless you, new child. Okay, but no screwing around. Well, okay then. <laughs> okay, now don't go screwing around. Okay, sure, I'll take a pick. <laughs> Yay, thanks! Sure, I take like 10 selfies a day. Kid, why are you still hanging around? Oh, hi, you're the new kid, right? Oh, great, thanks for coming. Have a seat. Counselor, you can talk to me about anything, okay? I understand you want to talk about sex. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, I'm highly trained in um uh, sex issues, okay? And you don't have to be afraid. 
Okay, new kid, it's, it's really simple. When, uh, when you want to talk about your sex, you simply, you can start by simply saying, you know, I'm, I'm a boy or a girl or other. Just, uh, whenever you're ready. Okay. Boy, right, exactly, you got it. Now, new kid, this might get confusing, but listen close, okay? If you were born a boy, that's called being a cisgender boy, okay? Or cis for short. But, well, you, you might have transitioned into being a boy. You see what I mean? If you were not born a boy, but now uh, uh, I d identify as one, well, that's called being transgendered, okay? Or trans for short. Okay. So, uh, do you identify as being cisgendered or transgendered? Take your time. Okay. Okay. Can you just hang on a minute? I need to call your parents. Just take a second. Uh, hello. This is Mr. Mackey, the school counselor. Yes, hi. Uh, I have your child here in my office, and, well, he's just let me know that he's cisgender. That means he identifies with the sex he was assigned at birth. Oh, you knew that. Okay. Well, no, no, it's it's fine. I just wanted to make sure that you knew he had other options. You know, you don't you don't always have to go with the first hand you're dealt. Okay. Yeah, no, that's that's great. That's great to know. Uh, I think I can really maybe be of help from here on out. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. Bye bye now. Okay. Well, I'm really glad we had this talk. As a cisgendered male myself, I know how hard it can be out there for a boy who chooses to love someone of the opposite sex. Just remember, love is love, even if you're a guy who happens to like titties. <laughs> Just be careful, okay, because there's, there's a lot of people out there who don't accept you for what you are, and then you're going to have to deal with them, okay? So, uh, but come see me anytime. a cisgendered boy. We don't take kindly to your types around here. Let's welcome this thing to our town. I'm gonna punch you straight, just like I did Dale that one night in 94. If you actually read the Constitution, you'd understand it's my patriotic duty to fuck you up. <laughs> that settles it. Beating you kids up was definitely the right decision. Now, excuse me while I go throw up. These grits looked a lot better going in. Don't just take that lying down, butt boy.
love it or get your ass kicked, socialist. Ouch for you, dude. It's getting windy in here. Yeah, burning hair. I'm not bloodthirsty anymore. Mega bomb put. Uh. Ow! Knocked him into the bleachers. Yeah. Uh. You asshole. Yeah, I saw that coming. I don't even want to fight these guys. What if I get contact drunk? Don't be scared, bug boy. It's just a little taste of your future. Right, come on. Yeah. Well sucked, mosquito. Okay, let's see what you got, new kid. Shall we spread disorder or entropy? You dare disrupt the flow of chaos? Genius attack! Go nuts, new kid. Ah, that's going to leave some scars. On me, let's swarm these fuckers! That sucks for you, new kid. Bow down to chaos or pay the price, slave! Going for blood, guys! choices.
Well, what do we have here? Remember Capri, son? Oh, those are the greatest I met. What's new, new kid? Still giving everyone the silent treatment? Great news, new kid. Got new items in the baby shop. Good choice. Beautiful. Ciao. I might follow you when your wardrobe is a little more palatable. Let's take a selfie and be Instagram friends, new kid. So good.
Here, kitty, kitty. Come on, kitty. Look at you with all that storage on your device. Ooh. In the old days before cell phones, if you got separated at the mall, you had to find a new family. I can't believe I agreed to this. Praise the Lord, little cuckoo kid. Hey, Forty, come play with us, big kids. some fourthy ass. Yeah. Yeah. Have your boyfriend massage that for you. Who to torment? I choose you. Ha. Ha. You like that fourthy? Got a lot more waiting for you in middle school. Oh, I'm up? Okay. Enjoy. You're the wind beneath my mosquito wings. Most important 29th meal of the day. For fourthy scum, you guys are kind of scrappy. Uh oh. How dare you to eat that? I'm going through a lot of stuff right now and needing to punch you as one of them. If you'll excuse me, I have a balloon to piss in. Go. 
I am out of fuck tickets. Yeah, I feel so heavy. Fuck him up, new kid. Fuck. You, Mom. Fuck. You, Mom. Ah, new kid, come take a seat. You'll be back. All right, well, how's it going out there? Okay, good talk. Uh, well, listen, I think you show some potential, and uh, I'm gonna upgrade you to somebody's sidekick or something. Congratulations. I just maybe wanted to talk about your superhero character a little bit. Um, your character sucks, to be honest, and I think I'm gonna let you do a class. Let's pick another ability to add. So what kind of skill set are you looking to add to your repertoire? Cyborg, Elementalist. Cyborg, Psychic. Cyborg, more machine than man. Okay, I think those two will work nicely together. But now we're gonna need to change your backstory too. So let's go back again to that fateful night. Back when you were little. You did lay awake that night, but the reason you couldn't sleep was because you wanted to make the world a safer place. You walked to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and wondered, if anyone would ever love you. And then you heard a noise, but but it was a baby crying. Out in the hallway, you saw two guys attacking a helpless baby on the floor. You had to stop them from hurting that baby, didn't you? You knew you had the power to stop them, and so you called upon your newly discovered power. Power surged through your cybernetic appendages as you focused on your prime directive. Protect the baby that, for some reason, was loitering in your hallway. Hey, what are you doing here, kid? But little did the intruders know that you weren't just any kid. You had been cybernetically enhanced with a suite of shocking abilities. You demonstrated the first of these abilities on your victim. Hey, you can't just knock him back like that. Yeah, what gives? Hey, wait up. The charge you left on the freezer yeah. jumped to his allies, damaging all of them at once. But you still had many more cybernetic tricks up your sleeve. <laughs> I'm so enraged right now. Well, somebody needs to hit this little shit. The intruder took a swing at you, but your block absorbed the damage. I'm, I'm so pissed. Thugs tried to keep their distance, but they weren't prepared for your next power. laid into you. It was time to bring out the big guns. Oh, oh man, yeah, that's good stuff. He's more machine than man. 
And so you beat them. You swept the baby up in your arms to take him somewhere safe, and then that's when the unthinkable happened. You saw your dad. Fuck your mom. And from then on, you had to live with the fact that because you were busy helping a baby, you couldn't stop your mom from being fucked by your dad. That's heavy, man. I'm really sorry. I know you probably want to know why. Why your dad fucked your mom, but those are answers you'll have to find for yourself. Cooning friends alert! Cooning friends alert! Seriously, guys, alert! Alert! The Cooning friends alert! This is Coon, what's happening? It's the Freedom Pal! What have they done now? Just get to Main Street! Hurry! We're coming! Coon! Ow! Well, new kid, looks like you might be needing those newfound powers. Follow me! No time to waste, butthole. Fuck you, Mom. It's the Coon Store. Oh, wait, that's fucking stupid. How do I delete these things? You'll be back. Toward the bus stop. It's a quicker trap. My coon sense is on fire. Freedom Pals is on the move. Confrontation is brewing. Yes, this way. Keep going. Towards the bus stop. Man, escort missions are the worst. Ah, God damn it. So close. Head towards Main Street, butthole. And gird your loins for battle. Yes, a little further. This bus was supposed to be here back in December. We were supposed to be a duo, remember, Tweak? Yeah, I remember. So when I walked out on Coon and Friends, you should have walked out with me. I like Coon and Friends. Because you had your own movie. Thank God you're here. They're really going at it. Super Craig had to have movies before Wonder Tweak was introduced. It made no sense otherwise. Your whole group makes no sense. Because you're a traitor, Tweak, and now you're with a group of super traitors. This was started by you. By people who thought there should be preferential treatment to certain heroes. We aren't the ones who walked out of the fucking franchise, Mysterion. Eric, you must listen to me. Right now, I'm speaking to you telepathically. Get out of my head, Timmy. Your franchise is going nowhere. Face the truth, Eric. You guys are kind of douchebags. He just called us douchebags in my mind. He did? All right, you son of a bitch. Motherfucker! Good friends, deal with these assholes! Today is the last day of the rest of your life. Spread the itch. Nine and ten. Uh, careful, dude. We don't need the Center for Disease Control getting all up in our business. I am Wonder Tweak, champion of justice. What? That's gay. Yeah, gay. Wait, I'm confused. New Kid's gonna kick your ass, Freedom Pals. Cartman's only working for himself, new kid. Feel the wrath of human pipe. Uh. That'll 
leave some funky tan lines. Prepare to meet your end. Today, you cross paths with the wrong immortal fourth grader. Fuck you, dude. It's Civil War, dick. Clear! Clear. My turn. Stop on this, camera pal. Vector calculations complete. Attack sequence engaged. Warm breeze and a hot chick in a bikini. Yeah. Think about what you're doing, new kid. <laughs> Make way for Mysterion. No mercy. Go, thanks. Come here, right, get out. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Super Best Friends, let all debts be forgiven and all slaves free. <laughs> in my movie. This is the part where the bad guys regret their life choices. Good job, new kid. You're really getting the hang of this. Hey, wait. What about code? Oh, shit. Come on. Got away? He he completely raped my mind. You okay? No, seriously, you guys. He fucked the shit out of my brains. Uh, I grabbed him. We fought for a little bit, but his his mental powers are too strong. So we did all that for nothing? Not quite. I got Timmy's cell phone. You did? There's sure to be a lead on that. Let's get this back to base. Super Craig can analyze it. Uh, hello. Is this the little superhero who's getting all the followers on Instagram? Your presence is requested at City Hall. The mayor of South Park wishes to speak with you. Don't make her wait. Need to get somewhere fast, you kid? Better run fast. See you, new kid. Call on me whenever you want to get somewhere fast. Call on me whenever you want to get somewhere fast. Call on me whenever you want to get somewhere fast. Fuck. 
You, Mom. Fuck. You, Mom. Ah, there you are, butthole. What have you found, Super Craig? Timmy's phone has a bunch of notes in it. Something about a girl who has information about all the criminal activity in town. What girl? It just says, find the girl with the dick tattoo. Well, what girl in town has a dick tattoo? I don't know, Mosquito. But the Freedom Pals must think she's the key to finding the missing cat. If the Freedom Pals find her before we do, they'll get the $100 reward. We cannot let that happen. We have to stop the Freedom Pals from having a sweet franchise. At all costs. Then we have to find the girl with that tattoo tonight. Fast Pass is right. We all have to sneak out of our houses tonight and search the entire town. What do you say, new kid? Are you up for it? Look, if you want to be a coon friend, you have to learn to communicate. Yeah, who let this guy join us anyway? Go easy on him, you guys. He's had a tough life. When he was six years old, his dad fucked his mom. What? I'm sorry, friend, but it's time they learned your tragic backstory. Butthole doesn't trust anyone because his dad fucked his mom and he couldn't do anything to stop it. That doesn't make any sense. I know. How could the person you trust do that to the only other person you love? Carbon, everyone's dad fucked everyone's mom. Huh? That's how it works, stupid. Our dads fucked our moms. Oh, right. So does that mean your dad fucked your mom, Cam? Huh? Yes! My dad fucked my mom. That's why I'm here. Don't steal his backstory, dude. That's not cool. You're so fucking stupid! Every human alive on Earth had a dad who fucked their mom stop, and- Stop, stop. This is not what's important right now. We need to find the lady with the dick tattoo. Yeah, let's get home so we can prepare for evening mission. Let's go, coon friends. He's such a fucking idiot. It's okay, calm down. I'm afraid you'll have to deal with that kind of bigotry your whole life, butthole. When people don't understand, they lash out. I'm going to let you be a sidekick tonight to one of the coon friends. Go home and sneak out after your parents are asleep. I'll fill you in later. Oh, did you want to try out a different backstory? Okay, let's walk through it again. Yeah, I really just don't see you in that kind of role right now. So what kind of skill set are you looking to add to your repertoire? A speedster, like the Flash or Quicksilver? As a super fast speedster hero, you bent space-time itself to spring into action with super speed. You moved in closer to the intruder to deliver a quantum punch. Once his atoms returned to their original positions, the intruder realized what he was up against. Damn, we weren't expecting a superhero to live here. Desperately, the intruder struck our hero. Take this! Emboldened, his fellow intruder moved into the fray. You don't scare us, superhero. But the intruders were only moving closer to their demise. You vibrated every subatomic particle to become an unstoppable high-energy body. Hey, what's the kid doing now? Once charged, you became empowered to use two attacks in the same turn! First, you gave the second intruder a taste of your atom smashing quantum fit! Where's my atom? With both intruders weakened, there was nothing they could do against the hero's final strike, a supersonic dash! The kid's too speedy! Let's get out of here! With the intruders soundly defeated, you thought you were safe, until a third massive intruder entered the fray, bigger than the other two intruders could bend! Ah! <laughs> I just flushed one little shit. Here's one more. Before you could react, he swung his gargantuan fist into your small body, doing critical damage! Exhausted from your double-edged charge, you could only watch as he continued to pummel you. Can't run away from this! You were hurt, yes, but the intruder had made a critical mistake. He pissed you off. Summoning the last of your strength, you tapped into your ultimate ability, Hyperspace Fury! <laughs> nice. He was just too speedy. Glad that, that's over, Jesus. Still not happy with that backstory? All right, let's get to work. Yeah, I really just don't see you in that kind of role right now. So what kind of skill set are you looking to add to your repertoire? Elementalist. Psychic. Try to 
better read my mind, butthole. As a psychic superhero, you focused your mind and prepared for battle. Your foes had brawn, but you had brains. You used those brains to create a psi shield. You're just gonna sit there and think, kid? What do you think of this? What the? What's with the kid? You sensed another threat coming from up the stairs. As the brute entered, you overpowered his weak mind with a dazzling flash. Oh, what? First intruder tried his luck again. But his attack still couldn't penetrate your mental barrier. What is this power? Still under the influence of Mind Glitter, the biggest intruder attacked his fellow thug. Hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? I can't think at all. Now you've centered your mental energy to further trivialize your enemy's attacks. That's just not fair. The intruder still thought he could get a hit in on you. But he's not bad. I'm just out of ideas. Me too. Ugh. You were done toying. You focused your mental energy once more. You got into position to unleash a massive cerebral blast. Maybe brains are better than brawn. Glad that's over, Jesus. Welcome to Kinstar. Did that. Kid, where to? Oh, awesome! There you go!
Okay, you're approaching the hideout. Find a way in, but be careful. He's probably armed to the teeth. Thermal imaging is showing the suspect is in the rear of the house. You should have him in sight. Hey, who are you? What are you doing in my house? Engage! Engage! I don't know what you're doing in my house! Stand your ground! with you get the hell out of my house god damn it return fire look I'm just defending my castle One less violent degenerate this town has to deal with. Please come by and help us again. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, shitty, shitty, shitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Oh, here, forthy, forthy. Dinner is served. You guys are dinner. Okay, let's see what you got, new kid. Unbridled rage. Ah, yeah. Have your boyfriend massage that for you. I'm going through a lot of stuff right now, and needing to punch you is one of them. Take that, Forty. Take your medicine, Forties. No peeking. Coup de torment. I choose you. Yeah. Oh. You're a fucking mess. You owe me big time. Feel the wrath of human height. Stupid Forthy with a kite on his back. Ow. Yeah, burning hair. I'm not bloodthirsty anymore. Who needs to get punched the most? I am out of fucking ticket. Your punches make the blood pool nicely under their skin, Super Craig. Prime for drinking. Well, dude. Say no to kicking some forthy ass. Ha! Uh. I made that special for you. My turn now. Ha 
You like that, Forthy? Got a lot more waiting for you in middle school. Ah! Ow! Slap it up. The last kid who did that to me is dead. My fist is going so far up your ass, I'll be able to help you floss. That sucks for you. Yeah, I saw that coming. I have a sudden urge to fly up to the stratosphere and just go nuclear on these pukes. Laying down the laser. breaking the skin next time. Whoa, people are still alive down here? Okay, I'm all right. Mega pump, hut. What? Sixth graders can't die? We're immortal. No recess monitor can save you now, Forthies. I could have taken like seven million selfies by now, like literally. Are we doing this or what? Get your head better run fast. See you, new kid. you supposed to be a gay did ya go on through sure I'll take a shot with a little deputy <laughs> busy kid maybe later good job little crime stopper we're interrogating the criminal now he's not talking but it's a lot of fun beating him up if you want that junior detective badge come back later after we've gotten more intel out of this scumbag
get a load of this. Need to get somewhere fast, you kid. Are we doing this or what? Oh, awesome. There you go. What are you doing even talking to the school counselor? Why'd you answer the phone? Have you lost your fucking mind? Our child felt the need to go talk to the school counselor. Doesn't that bother you at all? So you told him the truth? No, we didn't talk about that at all. You dumb bitch! You'll ruin everything! I don't have to listen to this from a stoned-out pothead! I need a drink. Sure, drown your problems in Chardonnay, you stupid skank! Oh, hey, whippersnapper! Have a fun day out playing? No, <laughs> well, I'm exhausted. Gonna get ready for bed. Dinner's on the table if you want it, punk. But then straight to bed, okay? Pothead. Alcoholic.
sweetie, I just want you to know that whatever happens, Mommy always loved you. Good night, sweetheart. That time, that's when the creeps come out. But unfortunately for the creeps, the other thing that comes out at night is a key. gentleman with the power of diabetes at his control. I used to be a simple elementary school student, but then one day, a freak science accident turned my diabetes into superhuman strength. All right, sidekick, we're supposed to go investigate a girl who might know the location of the missing cat. Follow me. Ready? Let's go, sidekick. Kyle's this way. I'm pretty much like Bruce Banner, a loner, hoping to one day cure my diabetes, and yet knowing it means I'll no longer be able to fat crab. Fuck it, bitch! Let's see how you like this! I am Captain Diabetes, and this is my faithful sidekick! Oh, okay. Well, move out of the way, huh? I need to go buy some more beer. I'm sorry, but Captain Diabetes cannot let you drive. I'm fine to drive, okay? Get out of here. Hey, give me my keys. You are in no condition, sir. I'm fine, okay? Look, wait, look, look. I'm fine, okay? Give me my keys, please. I'll return them tomorrow. Give me my fucking keys, you little shit! I think I can dance with this? Let's go! Take care, sidekick. Even debilitated, this is a dangerous foe. I'm not debilitated, I'm just jovial. A drink. <laughs> Stan? Stan, is that you? Tell them to give me back my keys, son. Man, I need a pick me up. I need my goddamn keys to get beers, motherfucker. That is precisely the yeah. Give me my fucking keys! Watch and learn, sidekick. Hey, 
what I do. Give me my goddamn keys. I'm afraid that's impossible. I'm fine to drive. I'm fine. Okay, okay. Okay, now I'm fine. You can be fine to drive at approximately 11 a.m. tomorrow. It's 11 a.m. somewhere. You really need to sign up for AA, Mr. Marsh. You're no match for Captain Diving, he's gonna need trusty sidekick. Smash! I killed him! Hey, I think I dropped my keys. Anyone seen them? I have confiscated them, sir. Okay, then. I wasn't good to drive before, but now I am. Thanks for thanks for having my back. Now let me have my keys. I'm sorry, but I stand by my previous assessment of your fitness to operate machinery. Fuck! Keys right after this short little nap. Good night, Victor Marsh. There's a shortcut through human kite space. <laughs> Kyle's off on another mission right now. We're on our own, sidekick. It's up. In the attic. The coon gave us permission to use it. Sometimes, when I have too much sugar, I get really angry. Last one second. This is Human Kite's secret base. Farts make me angry. The clone says it's because my mom farted when she gave birth to me, and that's why I have diabetes. I, I don't think that's why I have diabetes, though. I think it was a gift to help fight crime. The shortcut is through that window. I don't have my own secret base, but if I did, at least I'll clean it up before I knew I had super guests coming over. Couldn't even set up the ladder for us. Gee. People get diabetes because their mom started doing childbirth, do you? I, I feel like Coon made that up to make Captain Diabetes feel insecure about himself. I 
you can see, Sidekick, that nighttime South Park is quite a different place. We've got to get into the Peppermint Hippo, to the town square. Pictures of his new skate. The citizens seem pulled in by the lure of this porticus. Hey, no cotton. My diabetic rage will do just a trick. I got here, folks. Yes, so much sooner. Here it is. Here's where we're going to find the girl. There are sure to be unsavory characters. 